Been a minute. Um, I've had a couple things come up. Um, between October of last year and now. Uh, my life um, as a YouTuber, I haven't posted anything. Just nothing really interested me. I, I did have a job. That was exciting. Um, but I did want to put this out there because of the whole COVID-19 thing. Which, in my mind, doesn't exist, but I know everybody out there is doing stupid things. Um, baloney. Um, yeah. Um, I really don't have anything to review because... I went from having a really nice house to tiny living. Uh, the lights that you see right above here, these lights, those are Edison lights. They're for camping, and you're probably wondering, where are you at? Well, this right here is a door. I'm actually sitting in a bunk room. Uh, and I'm just getting used to sleeping like this. Uh, the only problems I'm having right now is the bed. I'm, I, I love sleeping back here. Nobody bothers me except for when it's time to uh, make dinner and all that. But I pretty well do it all now like I have been. I am currently classified as my mother's caretaker. And I take care of her. Uh, we just went to her doctor's appointment yesterday. And then there was that medical scare that I had uh, a couple weeks ago. I had um, something right up in this little area right here pop up like, uh, like a Hellboy size knot. And what had happened was my eyes started closing. Not like this. But I mean, literally, the top, right up in here, started puffing up. The, my face started puffing. I actually had to call an ambulance. It was a scare. And uh, that's what was scary. Now, in my life right now, I'm collecting things. I'm collecting Ghostbuster figures. Now, these are second run Ghostbusters. The only ones I'm missing is State Puff. Uh, the reason why I took them down is I didn't want to show them in the background quite yet. Because where I sleep at is right where I'm doing my YouTube videos from now on. Uh, we'll try and get a video review out. But I'm still trying to figure out. Oh, how am I going to have a review station? Well, that's things I'm trying to figure out as a YouTuber. Like, I kind of want to have like a little side table that just comes up and just sits right up on here. Um, I have a fan, I have lights, I have internet, I have uh, a PlayStation that actually has YouTube on it, so I'm able to keep up with current events going through certain YouTube uh, pages. Um, in, in the future I will start editing my videos, but this is just a straightforward video. This is a blog style video. Um, we're probably going to do a couple of these a day. But I'll come home. But it'll be later in the afternoon. Hang on. It's great. I'll check it later. Um, the phone I'm currently on. And I'm doing all my filming on. Is the new Samsung. Well it's not new. It's uh, the Samsung Galaxy S10 AE. I'm like wow. I got this back. A couple months ago. Um. I currently have no job, but for you out there in YouTube land, I am deeply depressed. Um, there are certain things I've been wanting to do, certain things I want to go and I can't do it because one, the whole COVID thing, and two, um, lack of money. 
Uh, as of right now, can't go to Comic Con. So I decided, well, I got a year. Let's go and do what I like to. And I'm thinking about shutting off the blue market one weekend. But that's a short term fix right here. Um, I am trying to get a hold of the Plasma series. I have everybody but Winston. That's cool. Right now, I got a little shelf here. I had, I didn't buy shelves because shelves come really long. I took some foam core and a hot glue gun and made a shelf for my figures to sit on. And I'm like, sweet. But I got my um Slimer figure from um. It was the other people who did that did the uh, Ghostbusters. So I took and I put a screw in the back of him and I'll probably show it off in the video. Right now I've got it set up to where it looks pretty good. I kind of want to get some light, uh, a light put over there to simplify Slimer going around it. He's about maybe a foot off that platform. And they're maybe at like six inches tall. But I love them. They're detailed. They're better than that ones that they did when the 2016 version came out. I still want to find those guys. Those are going to be something I want to do, but I think the posability on them is like really sucks. Uh, I don't want to get the 2016 figures unless it's the real Ghostbusters with the build a no ghost figure, and that was only four of them. That you build the no ghost figure. When you buy the six of them, you're building a figure Vince Clortho, which I think there's going to be a lot of people coming out with uh, modding that a little bit to make. That I think when they come out with the second Ghostbuster run of the, um, when Ghostbusters Afterlife Ask comes out, I think they ought to do a second run for Ghostbusters 2 and have a build a figure like Build Vigo. That will be pretty cool. Uh, but I want to get some Proton streams for these guys. When I go to, um, Walmart on the 13th, I'm going to try to get some, um, beams to actually have them capturing Slimer and all that good stuff. Um, me personally, I really haven't done anything to pretty well think that something needs to be done. I'm a YouTube fan. I love gathering information for YouTube. I want to become a YouTube gamer, but that's something that will never happen. For one, I don't know the tips and tricks of everything. Now, here's the thing is. Um, two months ago, when I had a job, I rented a Nintendo Switch. Biggest mistake I ever made. I blowed 150 bucks, alright? On renting a Switch for roughly two months. So, it wasn't until the week that they actually said... Uh, the, the week leading up to them coming and picking the switch up. Yeah. Didn't want to hold a charge to anything. Not to the Joy-Cons. Not... The only thing it will hold a charge to is the system itself. And I'm like, okay. So, if I do get a job or try to get my mental disability. Yes, I am currently mentally disabled. I'm not legally mentally disabled. But in my mind's eye, I could barely read. But over the course of the years that I have lived at certain places, I picked up a couple of things. Um, I was born in the 80s. Um, let's see here. Top of the things in the 80s was probably Nintendo. How many of us out there can play a Nintendo with their eyes closed? I'm not one of them. But I am one of the people that can tell you that when The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time came out, I could play that game. And even today, the uh, collector's edition for the 
Nintendo 3DS. Yes, I've owned a 3DS. I've actually went... Uh, I didn't cheat with that system. Didn't go in and say, Oh, I wanted this, this, and this for the the system. And um, I have a PS3. I also have... Nope. Sorry. I thought that was the I thought that was the uh, Android controller. I have a uh, Android. It looks like a Nintendo controller. I sh my hand to Jesus Christ. It looks like an. It looks exactly like a Nintendo Pro controller, but it's an Android controller. You're like, you got one. And I'm like, yes. Um, I played a couple games for the DS, and I'm like, hmm. But what I really want to do is build my library. Oh. I decided a little while ago to uh, do some uh, to get back and dueling. So I decided to get this. Precious, I know. I'm like, what? But that's not what I'm going to show off. Mark. In here alone is a lot. There's like seven decks, but the seventh deck I'm not counting because it was a um, ultra run of Kaiba's deck instead. That's seven decks. There's I'm sorry for about the space. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, and this right up in here would be seven. But these are all commons. I have sleeves. And the problem with going to Walmart to buy my sleeves is like, oh, damn, I'm going to have to go to the flea market and duel for them. But here's the cool thing is, this is dueling. Okay, so this had all three of them. Um, Joey, Yugi, slash, oh. Uh, yummy. I had to think for a minute. And Kaiba. These three decks right here are awesome as hell. In the Yugi deck alone, it's worth the entire thing. Um, I think you have all five pieces of Exodia, all three Egyptian God cards, playable Egyptian God cards. Now, when it comes to uh, these decks, I'm fine with playing this but I also went ahead and decided what the hell we have the Nordic hang on. yeah we have the Nordic the dark hero and the um, Phantom Knight rising set I got this and I'm like okay we're using this one as a carrying... We use both of them as carrying cases, but... What I've gotten here is... My six-sided die. See, this is six-sided die. I carry two regular-sized dice. Just to screw around... With, uh, some Yugi fans. Well, if you ever want to play Yahtzee on the go... Little six-sided die. And this is a pill bottle... That has this around it and there's the lid bam never lose the lid again um let me put those in there that way they're not rolling around the box that's pretty well where I'm at I'm thinking well if I'm going to get back into dueling I need to get back into selling Yugi cards now at one point in time I did have a little fluster
a little hint of Yugi in my life. But they were all straight up bootleg. And I'm like, okay. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start selling them. Start buying, trading. I'm going to build myself up in where I want to be. Um, but when I go to start selling, I'm going to start selling packs as well. Uh, my current local Walmart only has a few Yugi sets. No decks. No decks worth getting. I'm thinking about doing some stupid things, but when you do stupid things, you get a uh, real bad result. Uh, right now, I just gotta get a Winston figure. That will make me happy because then I can do all four Ghostbusters battling Gozer. That will be awesome. But, I'm having a problem with the Teradox. Um, I've got the Lego Ghostbusters. I got all four of them. I need to bust those out. I'm thinking about using that as a switch around, like right around Halloween. I'll probably showcase the four main Ghostbusters Chris, right around Halloween. Um, well, tomorrow's the 4th. That's the reason why this video is going out. It's probably... I'm not even sure what time it is. It's probably... Oh. Sorry, I got my PS3 controller. Um, you're probably wondering, Marty... Hmm. Marion, well, whatever, I'm sorry. I have four names. Marion, Harley, Ballant. That's three. That's my given birth name. I'm also known as Marty. Oh my god, if somebody yells, Marty! And I'm like, I gotta keep my ears open. They're, they start burning, literally. But, yeah. I have, I have, I have a lot of fun. Uh... When it comes to me doing YouTube, it's just not worth my time and effort. If I put a video out, like I am now, it's generally to cover my butt. This content is not... You can watch it and you can take it at face value. But, it's my life. YouTube just needs to quit doing things... And for those of us who've actually been here longer, they should cut us a check. Now since I've moved residencies from where I was, I've been doing this since 2009. Alright? 2009 is when I became a YouTuber. That's one year after Ghostbusters, the video game, came out. 2008. That's been almost 10 years. Now, what have I done 10 years prior to that? Or unemployed. <laughs> I've been unemployed quite some time, but I have had many jobs, many degrading jobs. Um, just recently, I found a job I liked, and I got fired over nothing. We're not going to go into details. We're not going to bitch. We're not going to rant. But we are going to say, I have the mindset of a ten-year-old little boy. Let that sink in. I have the mindset of a 10 year old little boy in an adult body. I can cook, I can clean, I can do whatever I want. <laughs> but I get nothing in return. But when it comes to me wanting to go do things and me not having no money, I can't do it. When I actually got these figures, I actually ran into some money. I sold some stuff. No, I didn't sell semen. That's not what y'all... Get your mind out of gutter. Didn't sell no blood. Can't. Have a heart condition. Yes, I have a heart condition. I have... It's not a heart murmur. Um, The last couple times I've tried to give plasma... I've had problems. So, sorry. Ooh, that good lemonade. 
Yeah, I just recently rigged these lights up. They're looking real good. I can actually see in here. I want to rig it up to where there's a switch somewhere. Yeah, um... We're still a big fan of DC. I'm just trying to do some things. Um, right now we got a little rashy. And it's almost gone. This down here too. Yeah, um, basically I got sunburn while I was camping. And I think that's what's now taking effect. A prolonged effect. Because... I love to camp. I hate it. I hate it when I have to set up more than what I take with me. This past, not June, but May, I told my mother never again will I go camping with a certain person. We're not going to name names. Yes, I still live with my mother. I'm her caretaker. The first chance I get I will move out her. I will move away. Probably after she's dead and gone. But right now, um, the 4th of July is coming up. We're going to have hot dogs and we've got movies lined up for tomorrow. Yes, I've got a couple of them lined up. i got, um, I think, uh, Bad Boys, Bad Boys for Life. Because I just watched Bloodshot last night. And I'm like, ooh, that looked good. No, I didn't go and buy the movies. I downloaded them. I pirated them. Come on. There, there are ways for you to go do that. But you got to be very careful about what you download. Me, I use a closed server to download anything. Alright, we're going to go ahead and end it here. So, I believe my next video review will probably come tomorrow night. Maybe. Maybe not. Toodles.